Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm back with another unboxing haul video, mystery box. It's that time again. Don't you guys love it when you get a mail call, get a package you ordered over a week ago in the slowest form of shipping? I paid $5, $6 shipping, paid under $30. It's advertised as about 80 comics, uh, 50 to 80 comics, depending on page count. For those of you that know this type of uh, packaging, packing, you know where it's from, I'm not going to say. This video is not sponsored, but those of you that know, know where it comes from. So, yeah, let's get into this. This is a value pack of image comics. Right off the bat, let's see if I can identify that from that. Mm, appears to be some type of dragon. I don't know. And usually do that. Usually they do a better job. They usually put a cardboard up against the bottom. This is the bottom. So, huh? Okay. Nice. And it's a. Uh, it's one of the rare spawns that they go ahead and decide to put and bend. Nice. So, hmm. They usually do a better job on the shipping, so we've got a Supreme Stephen Platt cover. And we've got a G.I. Joe there. Let me get rid of this box. Love, uh, I mean, they do okay, but I don't, I didn't like the way that they, uh, didn't put the cardboard how they usually do it. I've gotten multiple orders from them. See that, you think they usually have a car two cardboards per box. I could be wrong, but I mean, it happens. I run out of materials, but still get people used to and it's not really packed as securely as it usually is oh well, what are you gonna do it's a pretty good deal uh gi joe 7 we can see from there a rip claw 4 newsstand that's cool and steven black cover supreme number 12 and uh got a spawn it might be damaged. That's one of the knocks I have on this Spawn 155, which is one of the sought after ones, I believe. So, right off the bat, that's cool. But like I said, I didn't like how they kind of shipped it. I don't feel any water damage. No real major spine creases I can see. So, yeah, I'm going to pause here. And uh, sorry about the shaky cameras. That's why I'm pausing here. I'm going to unbag these, and then I'll be right back, and we'll get into this unboxing. Alright, got them all unbagged, unboxed, stacked together. I didn't really cheat. I think I just saw maybe a couple other things I hadn't seen yet, so here we go. Uh, what I am usually get out of these, I've gotten these, I don't know, six, seven times already. Uh, they, this is a two pack. They come in bundles of, like I said, 25 to 40, they say, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 25 to 40, three pounds of comics. Uh, and I bought two value packs, two grab bags, two mystery packs, all image comics. Every time I've ever gotten them, they are all image comics. So couple of them are wizard but they are in conjunction with image so let's get to it gi joe blaylock kurth larder snyder number seven real american hero we got a spawn 36 i think i might have a copy of that but yeah what i was sorry i cut myself off i think uh what i was hoping for is a lot of spawn those are pretty popular right now hopefully i'll get some new stand editions those are pretty popular. Uh, so yeah, I know I'm. I saw 
two other spawns already, so I know I'm getting three spawns in this pack so far. That's excellent. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I'll probably end up getting some Stormwatch. Usually get some Cyber Force. I think I saw a couple of Cyber Force already. Some Liefeld stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So spawn 36 and oh, another spawn right behind it. Usually the spawns that they send me, they're hit or miss. They're either like in perfect condition like this one. You can tell it's been red, but it's fine. It's very fine to near mint, actually, I guess I would guess. See, like this one, it's got some it's a couple issues. It's, it's a pretty bright colored. Uh, see another spawn 25, yeah, right behind it. Brightly colored, like almost white. There's some, you could see some dirt on it. Uh, it's probably just been in a in a bin, unbagged in some comic shop for since it came out. Oh, well, you can tell it's been red too. Or it's got some, not ticks, but you know, wear marks, read marks. So spawn 25, these are all direct editions. Spawn 159, that is awesome. Yeah, this Spawn 25, it's got a little color breaks. But uh, other than that, no like water damage or creases that I can see. <clears throat> so yeah, that's awesome. Spawn 159, that's from the uh, 150 to 250 that everyone's looking for. So... Excellent, excellent. Man, this is like the spawn. So far, I think this is tied with the most spawn I've gotten out of these. And uh, I would reveal my source, but uh, a good, uh, what do they say? Uh, sorry about the background, they're doing construction, and so I got the music cranked up a little bit. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Uh, yeah, but a good uh, seller doesn't reveal his source. But those guys, those of you that know, know where I, exactly where I got this. You can find them online or on eBay. So I see a Gen 13 back there. Spawn 35, got some spine ticks, but whatever. I've seen worse. Gen 13 number one. Excellent. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like to order these uh, after they've been up for a while. Uh... And then uh, I'll order two after I've seen them up for about a week or two. And after I order my two, they usually go out of stock for however many days. This time they restocked pretty quickly. But, I mean, it's it's the season to buy, so they probably have a bunch of, bunch of stock ready to go. So, yeah, I bought these two lots, and then I noticed they didn't have any on their site, on their page. And then a day or two later, they had more. So there's more available now. <clears throat> I, used to, I usually like to wait because it seems if you order the last one, they'll have to make you another one on the fly. And every time they run out and I order the last two, one or both end up being really, really good. So I think they don't necessarily have that much of a backlog sometimes. So they'll just go through some of their better quote-unquote stuff quote-unquote stuff and just throw it in so yeah gen 13 number one never own that that's awesome it's in very decent shape you know water damage spine ticks awesome bootleg one of two uh number 11 okay simonson awesome three of three number 10 <clears throat> gen 13 excuse me guys I don't think I've heard of this one. Zero, I guess. And then weapon zero. Okay. Rated mature. Image comes chapter six. Yeah. Alright. Zero, I guess. Cool. Weapon zero number one. I might have that already. Wildstar two. I don't think I have that, but I might... Uh, Wildcats 22, I do not have that. I'm trying to put together a run. I have most of it. I think I'm missing maybe one or two between issue 1 and 20. I think I'm missing like 18, 19 or something. 
So I don't have 22, so that's a good, nice addition to the run. 21 I might have, but I might not. So that's another nice addition. There's the Liefeld, Young Blood Strike file, with the flip cover. I think I have like five or six copies of this right now. Alright, Under Winter, Ray Fox. He don't give no Ray Fox. Uh, issue number four. 25th anniversary. I stopped collecting for a good period of time, so I'm still catching up on a bunch of stuff that uh, that had come out throughout the years. So, Ten Grand, number one, never heard of that. The tenth uh, issue, three, I guess. Uh, the 10th issue. What is that, one? Yeah, first issue. Nice. Tony Daniel cover. Looks a little J. Scott Campbell-ish. Rip Claw, number four, newsstand. Always happy to get some newsstand. Supreme Madness, number 14. All right, Strike Back, number five. Starve. Number eight. Shock Rockets. I'm getting a nice little run of Shock Rockets together. All these boxes I keep buying. Uh, number four, that was Rex Mundi. Number 18. Spawn the Dark Ages. Number five. So I guess that's technically another Spawn comic. I have one through four up on eBay. They're the uh, newsstand edition, so I might throw that fifth one up on there. Profit number eight. Powers number 35. Well, that was a hunt series for a while. Morning Glories. I have a few issues of this, I believe, already. That was number... 31, 31, number 3 of Plastic, Cat with a Head, nice, Haunt number 15, that's my second issue of the Homage Swimsuit Special, uh, I think I have another copy of this already as well, Fusion Iron Man number 1, alright, Eclipse number 6, Dark Corridor, number five. Darker Image. I think I have close to ten copies of Darker Image at this point. So, yeah. No card. No bag. Yeah, no card. I want my card, dang it. Spine crack. I'll open it again. I've got enough copies of this. Let's see if I can recreate it on camera. Yeah. <clears throat> Rob Liefeld artwork. I always liked Liefeld. Still don't hate him or whatever. So, but it's my wife, we like to. Oh, oh, never been read, guys. It's a fake cable there. Never hated his work. Never super loved it. I was I was a fan. Still don't hate him, but I mean, we all know about his online social media presence. Chu thirty seven, Ascension number eighteen, Cyber, code name Strike Force number one. There's some Cyber Force goodness twenty three, Supreme Stephen Black cover number. 12, Spawn the Undead, number 4, Another Starve, number 4, Plastic, number 3, <clears throat> The 1%, Issue 5, Powers, 33, Morning Glories, 30, Hunter Killer, Collected Edition, it's like a thicker book, yeah? 
Only four ninety nine. Zero through number three. Uh, comic book legal defense fund presents Liberty Annual 2012 fighting censorship since 1986. Nice. It's a pretty thick book. Death Blow number two. It's like my third or fourth copy. Yay. Ghost Station Zero Part Two. Eden's Fall number three. Was that a spawn? No, empty zone. Uh, number six. We got the chew through. I'm gonna few chews in this lot. Number twenty nine. Top Cow Comics. So I guess that's technically not an image. Oh yeah, nope, I'm wrong. Image Comics right there in the corner, in the dog-eared corner. Yeah, you'll get that with these guys. You'll get some kind of beat up comics here and there. So you you might get happy and get like a limited uh, low print run, whatever. And then you'll take a look at it and it'll be like deemed like that or just have, you know, see, it's not like been taken care of, probably never really been in a bag or it's just been out of a bag or in the wrong hands. Ascension 16. Automaton, Automaton, number three. Oh, nice. That's that 155 spun. Uh, it's got, it looks pretty clean. It's got, it's got a little bend to it, but that should be no problem for uh, all you presser, presser type individuals. Yeah, seems looks complete. I don't think it's been read. It's just been stored incorrectly. Probably never been bagged, etc. Cool. Spawn 14. These are you. Ooh, nice. 37. Never had 37. Every copy yep, I've ever had of Spawn number 14, wherever I get it, LCS, whatever, always has some kind of condition issue, and this one is no different. It's got a little bit of a... A little bit of a corner ding there. Oh, well. what are you going to do? So, this is a pretty good deal, so can't complain too much. Spawn 37. Got that G.I. Joe. Number 7, another copy. Seeing as how there are two different lots, they advertise that you won't get doubles in the same pack. So... Uh, these are two packs, so I've got two G.I. Joe number sevens. And I got G.I. Joe number eight. Maybe a little run. Okay, Gen 13. Number 28. Or 26? What is that? Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, 26. Gen 13, 27. And number two. Of Wildstorm Rising, Chapter Four. <clears throat> this has the uh, the cards intact, built into the uh, into the binding of the book. Sorry about the long video; I'm almost at twenty minutes, but. <clears throat> pretty pretty extensive little haul I got going just a few more books uh, Gen 13 number 11 this is my third fourth copy of Wildcat source book I was about to buy this for my Wildcats run just the other day but I held off I'm like wait I'm getting that image comics value pack grab bag 18 I believe I have that already but Another young let's just like I had like ten copies by now. It just multiplies number two strike file young blood ten grand issue one Michael Straczynski Straczynski looks cool. All right, violent love. 
Issue two looks a little, I don't know, maybe a little dirty. Okay. Yeah, it's a little, little dinged on the corner there. That's what you're gonna get in these, uh, in these packs. The tenth number one again, maybe a different series. All right, we got like three, four books left, and the tenth number four. Rising Stars number two. Two more books. What is that? Some Savage Dragon? Yep. Number 47. Yeah, that's the latest Dragon comic I own now. Cool. And the final book. Sun Bakery. Yes. I can sleep. Again, sorry. Just like always, I never silence my phone, so... Thank you, Facebook, for notifying me of my memories. Uh, well, yeah, Dragon 47 and Sun Bakery number two. All right, guys and gals, thank you so much if you stayed this long into the video. I'll definitely be putting up those spawns on my eBay. Uh, they look in pretty good shape, except maybe something that's definitely pressable. So look for those. Uh, as always, on my eBay, shameless plug time, I'll pin 2-9-A-L-B, 2-A-L-B-P-I-N, 2-9, at eBay. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, two videos in one day, right? How about that? Uh, shout out to everyone still watching. Again, shout out to Just a Recon and His Comics for the shout out show this weekend. And, uh, yeah. Until ne <clears throat> excuse me guys, sorry. Until next time. Uh everybody stay cool. Be good to each other and read some books later. <laughs>